Immigration. Interesting subject. There's a lot of immigrants in America for certain reasons. Some are here just because they're, they have a choice to be here. And, and really, the world is a free world. People can live where they want to live if they can afford it. I certainly would. Case of my husband's family. They came over here. They had money. They bought a house, cash. Started to live their life. He was all set up before I got in the picture. Came in. So he was... Some people think you married to somebody uh, for their, give them papers. No. I kind of gravitated. It's a lot of good American men. I didn't happen to find one. And so since I'm not a kind of person that just like to be around people like myself, you learn nothing from being around people just like you. I don't care if you even have 15 degrees. You probably need uh, somebody over here who know how to just plant a plant that you can learn from. Uh, you don't know everything because you have a degree. So I, I started being around um, African people for some reason. How did that happen? Well, it wasn't like that. I met my Afri my African husband um, in the late 80s. And um, I could have stayed with him. If I had stayed with him, I'd probably be rich. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, but I was impatient and stuff. And he did things that made me mad and... Nobody's perfect in a marriage. But I'd probably be rich. Because I'm sure he's probably worth a couple of million by now. So, well, my point, but I never like, this is my problem with American men. They seem to be so gruff. And they all think alike, most of them. And I'm not, I'm American, I'm telling you. And a lot of them have problem with women being in authority. And I know, from my observation, I notice they always have to be hanging around their boys and hanging around, they, they, they had to have a boy time, which is suspect now, <laughs> many years later. Then a lot of them smoke and drink, and I I'm just wasn't into being into no, I don't want to smell nothing crazy. So anyway, I'm at three minutes. So, but I want to finish with the immigration thing. I'll come back to that. Immigration serves a purpose in America. The lettuce, you go in a store and you're happy to see at a good price. It was picked by an immigrant. Or are actually a migrant. Some stay in the country and go back home. Some, I mean, work in the country and go home. Some live in terrible conditions. Um, in the state of California, yes, there's a lot, especially of Hispanic people. And I'm noticing a lot of Asian, too. I don't know what's going on with Asian, but Hispanic people... Hold on. They're here. All kind of people are here. But these people do jobs... Americans don't want to do. Say what you want to say. <laughs> Who? What American want to go and pick fruit? Mm. 
Mm-mm. But a lot of people pick Trump because of that mass deportation. Okay. That's going to resemble going to the store during the pandemic and nothing is hardly there, hardly no choices. God, people need to pay attention. They voted for that man for the wrong, for hurtful reasons. Like I said, the pandemic led to death, sickness, and then death. Then the, the death and the sickness led to supply shortages. It took time to get that together. Then people were hoarding and stocking up. That led to high prices. High prices didn't start under Biden, and we know that. It started because people was willing to go buy up everything in a store. Then, get the high higher. And, um, woo. I have her, huh? Oh. And then the customer, the, the store owners get greedy. So they get greedy. They don't want to lower their prices when they know they can. People don't want to sacrifice. And then there you go. They know, okay, these people stupid. Actually, to see, to every action, there's a reaction. You just don't have to have, like most people I know in my culture, um, we like to buy up a lot of food, just have refrigerator just stock with food. Well, you know what? I quit doing that. I quit doing it. If I open my refrigerator to you right now, you might be a little shocked. It is kind of a little full now, but it ain't that full. Um, I find out I was wasting a lot of money on food. You go buy some food, you throwing stuff out. That's not cool. Eat what you have <laughs> and then throw out. I mean, try not to throw out, then go back to the store. So these people pick our food and they keep our prices low. Mm hmm. Now, 1.5 million people died in America. And a lot of them was migrants, too. So some of them had to come, they had to go get some more people to work. I'm gonna unveil this in a minute, but I'm not gonna go through the whole process. So, There's a scripture that says um, wisdom is good. Or something I think it's called. I think it says wisdom is good. Therefore, get wisdom. But in all thy getting, get an understanding. And these people let the media tell them this. Tell them that. Oh, prices is this and. And the economy is doing good, but you can't feel it. 
First of all, the only person not going to really feel anything in an economy of rich people. You just go buy some, pick it up, drive. Oh, that's that's toward forty dollars. Oh, no problem. Or unless you're putting it on a credit card and go put yourself in debt later. Most of us don't have a luxury to just buy stuff and don't know what it costs. And don't actually care what it costs. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. That's that. Hmm. So there's consequences in this election. So that's going to touch a lot of people. Food, as much as people love to eat. Oh, my God. And you can't stock up on lettuce. You know, I bought some soup the other day. What was that soup? Chunky, some kind of beef stew. Do you know I remember when that kind of soup was good as a kid? It tasted good. That oh, I bought two cans. I'm glad I only bought two over at the uh, Trader. No, at um, what's the name of that store? Mm -mm. Amazon. Big cans, you know, one eighty eight. Tasted horrible. So now I want some soup. Just cut me some celery, bell pepper, and onion. That's your base. Put some chicken stock or whatever. Find you some meat. Or maybe a can of beans. Throw it in there. Make you some soup. That was horrible. I'm hungry now. What am I going to eat after I get? I got some. I, I left out. I did not know. I left out some of my stew. Um, brown, um, I'm talking brown stew chicken. That's a Jamaican dish. It's really good. Uh, I left out some of my um, Creole chicken. In the refrigerator. I got to get out today. Mm-hmm. So I've been making these chunk, trying to think about, you know, seeing people make it. It looks kind of exciting. So I'm going to make some chunk. So I boil some Saturday night late. You know, I did the bottle Saturday in the kitchen for you all. And then I boiled it. Thing is, it's like I haven't got the full recipe right. When people say, okay, I boiled this two hours. I don't get the step, I haven't gotten the step by step. You know, I boil, uh, um, I pack the then I heard somebody say after you boil it, you can uh, bake it. And then, um, so, um, I'm quit saying, um, ooh, I put this in the freezer. I boiled it. Let me finish. I boiled it for like two plus hours Saturday night. Then, oh, there's water in here. Then I put it, 
No, Saturday night I boiled it. And then Saturday afternoon I boiled it for at least from 11 or 12 till about 4 o'clock. So I boiled this a long time. Because I really have. I've heard I've heard I boiled it six hours. I've heard it boiled. I boiled it this hours. So I bought it Saturday, uh, Sunday at least. Ooh. You know, I'm going to start keeping my foil. Boy. <coughs> we'll find a place to put it in the refrigerator or something. So anyways, I took it out. I turned the pot out. Oh, I messed my pot up. I'm so mad. I hope I can clean that stain. My beautiful stainless steel pot. Oh, I like that pot. So I'm going to end this video. And then I'm going to be going through the stages later. There's ice coming out of it. So then, after that, I froze this. I made it. It feels pretty hard, solid. Okay. Messed up my, put a ring, it didn't mess up the pot, but you know, I like beautiful pots. It's a dark ring around my pot. I don't like that. Oh God, I gotta study if I can get that out. So anyways, I'll come back and be dealing with cutting it open and the reveal. So I hope everybody's okay. So get ready for some changes if God don't work a man. This man don't need, the people don't know he don't need to get in office. And this Democrat ain't done nothing for voting rights, civil rights, housing rights, affirmative action, where black people can get a job. That's why you have black people uh, that was able to work on jobs for 40 years because they had affirmative action. I mean, come on, these you see, um, Obama didn't do nothing. Obama saved my sister and my deceased brother. Both of their homes. That was under Obama. The mortgages went down. So it's some, it's some people out there lying. It's a lot of people who, mm -mm. oh, this is good. Why lie? So a lot of people listen to a lot of black people. Excuse me. I don't know what Republicans do for anybody. Republicans don't want you to have nothing. Student loan forgiveness, voted against that. All of that. They don't want people to have nothing. If people get that, in, in, oh, abortion. I ain't worried about nobody having no abortion. I ain't worried about nobody. Just do they lifestyle. I worry about me. So now a lot of people are worried. I mean, seriously worried. They're going to have the social security and all this other and they might not do it right away. What they might do is wait some months. They're gonna start. I bet you they're gonna start sending letters under President Biden. I think they got two or three increases. Cause I asked older people that I know, did you get an increase on your Social Security? They say yes. What they gonna get now? Nothing. And then what I want to say, excuse me, I vote with those who are more vulnerable than me. And I, I ain't, I'm not set financially. If, oh, if I was set financially, I'd be like, like I said, I could even do that. 
Just say I want to go. I figure out somewhere to go. And we decide, okay, we're going to go. We're going to go stay in the Bahamas or Jamaica. He got, you know, people in, in, in Jamaica. We just going to go stay over there six months. We could do that. <sighs> but he don't want to go nowhere. So I'm just like keeping my mind and options open. He was like, well, you weren't talking about doing this 20 years ago. 20 years ago, the country wasn't crazy. And people wasn't voting for rich people. All that Republican vote is about a stick abortion in there. They stick homosexuals in there. They stick all that in there. To, but look, women don't have rights. But there's some stories going around on Facebook where one woman, one man put up that his wife is leaving him. Uh, I couldn't be with a, a Trump supporter. Personally, no. No, you voting against me. And you here with me, and you voting me against me having rights, my, my, my kids having rights. I couldn't do them. No, no, no. You, you Trump support. It's people that's not inviting people to Thanksgiving. Good. And you ain't coming up in my house with no mess, with no Trump. Go hang out in Mar-a-Lago. I'm sure they, they probably can't even get nowhere near that now. now. It's just a mess. Giving this thief, liar, rapist, and, and all this um, honorable living to destroy your life because you said stuff was cheaper under him and life was good under him. Life wasn't good under him. Life was good under Obama and other folk. Uh, life got bad under him. You see that? That pandemic came on his tail. Because he, he probably stole that election. He did when he got that Comey letter. People, A lot of people turned on Hillary when uh, James Comey released that letter. How that work out for Hillary? I mean, him. Hillary there living in a... See, people go against people because they jealous. They don't like seeing people get in a position of honor or whatever. And they don't want to see this and that. Hillary went back to her house in one of the richest. It's probably the Chattaquipic or Chattaqu It's one of the richest counties in the state of New York. That's where Hillary went. When people are like, oh, I don't like her. Who you don't like? It's only two hamburgers you can order. You can order a regular hamburger or a cheeseburger. That's it. And it's like compliment. Judge of common Women and what? And men voting against a woman because they don't want a woman doing something. Okay. Kamala, I saw, was it a video or some pictures she released? She there playing a bazooka or whatever that game is. You stick the things in in the top. She there playing with her little nieces, her great nieces. She got a life. Now... Millions, millions of Americans gonna have to figure out when they prescription medication go up, or they lose their health coverage, or everything goes. It's sad, boy. People, they too emotional and about the wrong thing. Oh, and the Democrats gotta be perfect, but rappers ain't gotta be perfect. Singers ain't gotta be perfect. Uh, Housewives of Atlanta ain't got to be perfect, but oh, and, and, and the Democrats doing everything they can do, they get no appreciation. And now the Democrats can't help nobody. And they're going to be in there and they're going to be fixing stuff where it's going to be hard to vote. And it's over. Just consider this country you grew up in, born in, over. And so, oh, I thank God I at least have choices. I got to go, me and my husband got to go tomorrow and renew his 
his British passport. He doesn't even want an American passport. He is done. He said, forget. He said, this is not the America I thought it was. He said, these people are full of hate. This voting, you know, this one, this one, I'm voting so this one can't get an abortion. I'm voting for this one so they don't have the right to do this. I'm voting for this one so they can't get that. Can I argue with him when he say that? I cannot. You voted for hate. I'm voting because I don't want mothers with kids to send their kids to school and get any, like, financial aid for their children. So I'm voting for Trump. And Trump is a mil billionaire. Well, and even if he's not, he always have access to money. I don't get people that, but I get it because I've had people in my life try to hold me down. But I'm still here by the grace of God. I braid, I washed my hair, washed and conditioned my hair and braided it. And so my hair, I don't like that shampoo that girl washed my hair with when she pressed it out. She, uh, but it's. So I went. In, I used my regular shampoo and conditioner, and um, cause my hair is usually softer than this. It's like my hair kind of got. Ooh, I don't know. But anyway, God bless you today. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna have to go get a box cutter before, cause I ain't cutting myself. I've seen people. <laughs> Dealing with these bottles and stuff, and they, mm -mm, I ain't cut myself. By the grace of God, you can cut yourself with a box cutter, but I buy that in Jesus' name. So I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and have a very wonderful week. Sorry this video was long, but I'm trying to get better later.